Acadia National Park, the Mud Flat Metropolis, the gentle give and take of the tide at Ship Harbor creates habitat for a variety of plants and animals. Low tide reveals mud flats, home to soft shell clams. Marine worms, prewinkles, and tiny crescensas. High tide flood this area with nutrient rich water and silt. Salt tolerant plants transition to spruce fir forest. It looks like trees die like this. And then the termites get to the best of it. <laughs> Tenants. Where are the tenants? Tenants. Tenants are out there. Twice a day, receding tides leave a host of marine organisms and plants exposed on the rocky surface or submerged in pools of seawater. In these deceivingly bountiful and busy mini worlds, barnacles, mussels, and seaweeds cling to rocks and feast on microscopic planktons brought in with each rising tide. Feeding fans the area. Some dies, some feeds off of them, so the life kind of continues. Amazing, it's twice a day. Twice a day the tides come in and go out and the process repeats itself. <laughs> When you start singing, they stop. They stop. Who is this <laughs> person competing with us? <laughs> competing with us. This is the Turkish songs about seagull. And they were singing earlier, and then Fethiye start singing with them, and they got all shy and left. They do not want the competition. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished the Ship Harbor Trail. It was definitely worthwhile walking. And if we continue to do this every day, my PTM says I, I will lose weight. This is our third day in our Arcadia National Park. Yesterday we had some wonderful, wonderful experiences driving through the island loop. And today we're at the south loop. We're not that far away from Smuggler's Den. It's about four or five miles. And we're at the seawall. Now sea we are in the sea. What he is trying to say is that where we stand, filled with water and, and the sea at night time because of the Thai table. Tonight at 5.30, we do have a reservation with Cadillac Mountain Ranger. They're going to take us to the top and we're going to watch the sunset. Yay! <laughs> this is the Cardinal Buoy, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the Cardinal Buoy. In the States, red, right, return, return back to the port. And in Mediterranean, it is the green, green yeah, is back to the port. Where are we? We are in Echo, uh, Echo Lake, near for, from our uh, campground. Yes, we are in Echo Lake. It's only 1.6 miles to our campsite. We took a short walk through the forest and a paved road and guess what to discover yes we find this beautiful beach lake yeah, yeah and people are swimming see nobody's screaming so obviously the water is is warm enough <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i did find yesterday is that the waters around the park uh, are no more than 61 fahrenheit mid-august today fetiam is going to take me to bar harbor for our last day she's going to surprise me with a yeah. lobster dinner <laughs> <That's good. laughs> tonight lobster dinner tonight yeah. Night. <laughs> yeah. and then we have to pack up tomorrow not necessarily early but about 10 ish or 11 ish uh, because we'll, we have, we'll have about four to five hours of driving tomorrow. Yeah. We're heading south and uh, much we're more warm, uh, warmer <laughs> temperatures. Yeah. Temperatures, yeah. yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna be heading out to uh, warmer temperatures. Yeah.